Review time is the home for all things theme parks. Stay up to date with our content by subscribing and turning on notifications. The Disney hotels and resorts are renowned for their next level dedication to theming, service and atmosphere. But unless you're near the Disney parks, it feels as if they're a whole other Disney world away. But the location of some hidden Disney resorts may surprise even the biggest of Disney fans. Located 340 miles away from the Magic Kingdom sits a remote Disney hotel in the tourist town of Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. Built in 1996, for 24 years this hotel has flown under the radar for many Disney fans, with most not even knowing that South Carolina has a Disney resort. Featured as a Disney Vacation Club resort and being almost exclusively available for its members, it has no theme park nearby to enjoy and merely features as a private resort amongst the many hotels of Hilton Head Island. It begs the question, why does this Disney hotel over a five hour drive away from Walt Disney World exist? What does it contain? And why do people stay here? For review time, I'm Dominic. And this is Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. With a starting price of $149 US dollars a night for a studio room, Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort would fall into the value range of hotels if it were at the Walt Disney World Resort. Thankfully, unlike the value locations such as All Star Movies or Pop Century, this Vacation Club Resort does not contain gigantic fiberglass decor but instead embraces the surrounding atmosphere of Hilton Head Island being fashioned after a 1940s hunting and fishing lodge. The resort contains much of what you'd expect from a Disney resort, with character meet and greets, Disney merchandise, bucket loads of activities, and three pools with one containing a spiraling water slide. Though even with all the standard Disney recreational activities, the resort, rather ironically for Disney, has a heavy focus on escaping the complexities of modern life and embracing a more simple lifestyle with nature walks, fishing, boating and cycling. The resort offers a variety of rooms, including a deluxe studio and a one or two bedroom villa. The stylings inside take inspiration from the natural aspects of Hilton Head Island, containing ocean colours, driftwood and rustic furniture. Whilst the studios only contain a general living space, basic bathroom and a kitchenette with a sink, microwave and basic utensils, the villas really enhance the experience by containing a full kitchen with a refrigerator, a private porch or balcony and a gigantic bathroom with a whirlpool tub. The two bedroom villas are surprisingly affordable starting at 270 US dollars a night compared to villas at Walt Disney World which start at 456 US dollars a night. Whilst Disney does provide two dining locations which serve snacks, quick service food and picnic lunches, surprisingly the resort does not contain a full service restaurant featuring Disney's signature dining or even a bar. Though this is likely due to Disney wanting to keep those not staying with them out of the resort to uphold the serenity and sense of Disney community. Just one mile from the resort, you can find Disney's Beach House, a completely private standalone maritime themed clubhouse just for members and guests. It's located right on the Atlantic coast and provides a private getaway with a pool and other recreational amenities to truly appreciate the coastal atmosphere. The location of Hilton Head Island is definitely a selling point for the resort, being trademarked as America's favourite island. The area is known for its 24 championship golf courses and is a regular PGA Tour destination. There are 12 miles of pristine crystal clear Atlantic beaches, extravagant shopping locations, fine dining and a surprising amount of culture. Unlike most other Disney hotels, it appears that the Hilton Head Island Resort is aiming to be more subtle in its appearance instead of featuring a grand facade to lure in nearby admirers. That's likely because this is a Disney Vacation Club Resort. Disney Vacation Club, also known as DVC, is a timeshare program operated by the Walt Disney Company, which essentially allows you to buy vacation credits for a lump sum that you can use around the world. You elect for a home resort, which is essentially your hub, and then you can use the vacation credits to purchase rooms and stays in either your home resort or other DVC locations. 
The home resort also doesn't have to be nearby. It can be at any resort that you want. Whilst the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort contain the most DVC locations, there are those such as Olani Resort in Hawaii and Disney's Vero Beach Resort in Central Florida that have no parks in sight. But with Hawaii being a major tourist destination and Central Florida containing Walt Disney World, these enticing locations make a lot of sense. So why does Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort exist? And why don't we see any other resorts like it? Whilst the resort may seem rather strange, being so far away from any Disney parks, it does make sense from certain perspectives. There are those that want the comfort and service of Disney, but might want to experience something other than a theme park holiday. This resort allows those staying there to have a more traditional beachside retreat, away from the crowds and excitement of the Disney theme parks. The other explanation is that it adds more options and variety to DVC, to make it more enticing and easier to push to people to sign along the dotted line. Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort has so far been the last isolated Disney resort to be constructed in North America. Though in 2009, Disney had plans to create an even more remote Disney resort in Washington, Maryland, in a location known as National Harbor. The resort would have allowed guests to experience Disney whilst traveling to the United States Capitol and visit the many landmarks and historical locations that the capital has to offer. Whilst Disney never made an announcement regarding the resort, the news that Disney had purchased the land fueled rumors and speculation for years to come. Disney remained radio silent regarding the project for two years until finally, in 2011, they officially pulled out of the resort plan that they had never truly announced. Though this wasn't a pipe dream for the Washington community, as in the same year that their resort was cancelled, Olani opened in Hawaii. Whilst Disney has set their image to be the ultimate theme park vacation, the success of Olani, with its constant praise for being a spectacular luxury destination, whilst also embracing the Hawaiian culture and atmosphere, shows that the Disney hotels have a further appeal beyond the theme parks. Disney Vacation Club still offers a lot of potential in terms of expansion, and I'd be interested to see Disney take a more global interest in their hotels to provide destinations in locations such as Australia. Whilst I may have a bias being Australian myself, popular tourism destinations such as New South Wales Hunter Valley Wine Estates or the Whitsunday Islands off the coast of Ely Beach would make for incredible and unique Disney resorts that provide further opportunities for DVC members. Though if I was ever to become a DVC member, I'd be getting the most out of my points by staying near the parks every single time. But for those guests who feel that they've done everything the parks has to offer over and over again, Hilton Head might be the perfect DVC break for them. For the home of all things theme parks, I'm Dominic from Review Time. Thanks for watching.